morning, children. Can you see the digger? That pipe's stuck, we can't get it out. <laughs> I am lighting the boiler again. Now, since I'm in this room, I thought I'd just update you on um, Peggy's absolutely horrific miss of the rat. <laughs> now, Peggy has never been a rat dog. She has caught rats in the past, but she tends to sit and try and eat them whole and then run away from you and eat them whole and run away from you. She's not very good. Harris, on the other hand, who was somewhere else in the room, um he's brilliant always has been quite a good rat dog i think as he's getting older though he's getting a little bit slower um last time i think he was out in the lambing shed he ended up getting a nip on the eyelid so we tend to keep him away to be fair because it's just i don't really want him to get hurt we're not we're not hell-bent like ratters either it's not our thing um we have since put poison down in the hole that the rat ran in which is there you can see um, and all poison has actually been taken, quite a bit of it, to be fair. So dogs, henceforth, are completely banned from this room and they're not allowed in. And I'll put some more down, see if it disappears. And when it stops disappearing, I will start clearing the actual room because, to be fair, it is a scrow like. Like it was at one point, I used to clean this room all the time. It used to have wood stacked at this end, all up against that wall. And then we ended up moving this sofa in, but I want the sofa out. There might be rats living in it, who knows, um, to put in the workshop because the guys have started coming now for the big shed build. So I want that in the workshop for them to sit on nice and comfy for the brew times and stuff. And I'm going to get a kettle and things out there. So that's why I've started cleaning the workshop out. So it's all kind of coming together. That there, I have two of these. They came from the garage, they're XMOD. And they're actually, I love them. Roy hates them with a passion. Let me show you them. That's bins. Um, and they're just... They're incredible. So they're all copper. All them are copper. Yes, they're dirty, I know. Um, because I have had them out and cleaned them. But they're just just the I love this one because it's still got all the stuff in from the garage. It's really sweet. Like wished bones and bloody tiny bits of mini parts. And if you look, there's like I'm sure there's a spiders, but there's a a pedal for a a pedal for a it did say on the back of it, but I think it's faded. I think it's for like an Austin Mini. Um, so if anyone has an Austin Mini, get in touch. You can have this pedal. Um, there's all sorts of random stuff in here. Just little tiny parts and stuff. You know, back in the day before everything was electric. Electric, bloody computerised even. God, I can't even say it. They all came in these. But yeah, honestly, wonderful bit of kit. Absolutely love it. So yeah, in the past, these come off. You just tilt them off and then put them back on. Um, it's actually really simple. You can, we have done on the other one to make it actually useful for us. On one side, we've taken every other one out. And all this is, is a bar that runs through and the shelves sit on it. And they're not really, there's a bar there and a bar there. You can see the two, the two uh, nobles there. And the shelves just sit on it. It's nothing particularly, you know, special. So you could take every other one out and make them a little bit bigger. Obviously, my idea for this one and why it's in here is I want them as bookshelves, and I want the I want it to be exactly as it, as it is now with all this random gross green paint on. But I just want all of these uh, cleaned up to be proper copper and bright shiny. That's the only difference that I want. And that is my vision for when I'm a grown up and I have a big enough house to put this in. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how that's going. Who is that there in a digger? There is Dean Dog. So Dean Dog has come um, pretty much when we've done everything on the farm. He has a digger, years and years and years and years and years of building farm, uh, like buildings, but not just that building in general. Um, experience is absolutely wonderful like perfectionist likes things done right and that's why we get on with him really well and um, he also has like a hedge cutter and stuff restores vintage tractors if you must know <laughs> like he's honestly he's a really nice guy Um, if you don't get his humor he's completely offensive and I like that I like that a lot uh, but yeah Dean's here Dean will be joined at some point by Gary so Gary, family friend, um, needs to hurry up. Oh, my eyes got a twitch again. Um, 
but yeah stuff's starting so basically we're going to get the channels in that's what dean's here for because there's no there's no reason for anyone else to be here because he's digging holes isn't he so just trying to make sense of the plans that um we're kind of we've got two plans we've got lelly plans and we've got male mattress plans now they're both similar but they're not the same so obviously we're going to go with the lelly plans for the robots that way i think and male mattress plans from that way to cubicles to the other side of the shed um so yeah it's just mashing them two together to make sure everything fits so dean is currently leveling up he's not doing anything interesting i'm going to get a time lapse camera i've just uh text tom pem and ask him what he used for his big build so that we don't miss out on anything because i'll miss out on everything so yeah time lapse camera incoming that will be interesting but there's nothing interesting going on to be fair he's literally just leveling the site out and then he's going to start digging holes um, just to put them channels in but by that time I will have got a camera and I will show you because that is dead exciting digging a hole and sticking something in it isn't it behold yes we're planning stuff <laughs> the first bucket coming out. wasn't listening i'm all at sixes and sevens because there's somebody else on the farm it's very peculiar i'm used to being able to get on with my own jobs and not think about oh no them plans are wet uh oh i'll go and dry them out i think before Roy sees them So, as you have seen, if you watch my yearly recap video, the robots are actually here. They're in the shed. I will do a proper video of them arriving. Um, and I'm actually, big thanks to Tom Pem. I'm borrowing a time-lapse camera off him when I can find the time to drive and get it, just because I don't have a spare 300 quid to use on a shed build for six months to just throw it away. It's a lot of money. Um, so, I will do... Oh, my God, it's locked up. <gasps> So I will do a specific video about the robots arriving, the shed being built, etc. But I am going to continue doing my usual every other day vloggy videos. Oh no, oh no. Because I do tend to think, I hope that doesn't stick to there. It is going to, isn't it? Mm -mm, never mind, we'll just leave it there. I do tend to think, you know, if I was to change my style, like people keep saying, no, do it. I'm not going to. Because if I were to change to be more like Tom Pem, for instance, just because we were just talking about him, and doing a specific 
video with a specific subject, I think we'll lose some personality. I really do. Um, because it'll be more orchestrated. I'll be videoing things on purpose because the leader, 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 follow the leader. scary looking knife isn't it like oh she's sharp <sighs> so only problem with the sharp knife i've literally cut the wrap mm. whoopsie so these are third cut bales from down the river and they were at the time what looked like pretty sweaty horrible grass do you know what oh, it smells so good and i just don't know how it's happened right back to the good old days you know to make lots and lots and lots of bales in years gone by. Uh, I have got another extension K bell and I hope to absolutely shock Dean Dad by putting some lights on. It's very exciting. There's plugs everywhere. Are you ready? It's a big hole. So this is only half the lights working. There's the middle ones, the outside ones, and then we have more lights to go, you can't even see, under here to illuminate the feed passages. And um, they've yet to go in. Uh, the lights above the first bay of cubicles on either side they're in now, but they're not plugged in. Um, so just the middle ones are working. But as you can see, what a difference this makes. How amazing. So we're just mucking out. We're gonna run the cleaning down. It's quite late. We've been rearranging the shed today. The ongoing problem of bulling cows is still ongoing. She has just had to be thrown into this carving pen to cool down because basically she's running around that much mounting everything not only is it dangerous but she's really hot so we're just going to fill the creep feeders random question to somebody who might know um do you use them when you're doing farming that's a really silly question we use them as obviously beef suckler farmers because the mums and the babies are in the same group and that would mean obviously that there's a size difference and the calves can fit into the feeder and get the food and the cows can't. Now, with a dairy calf, obviously it's going to be in a group with similar sized animals. So does that mean you don't, like it negates the need for the creep feeder? Obviously, I suppose in a field environment, it'd keep feed dry. So that would be an advantage. You know, do people use them? Do you even feed like hard feed to dairy heifers? I don't know, I don't know. Um, so lambing wise, we do not feed our females. We just rear them on grass alone. We feed the males to push them on to sell. But the females, we always keep it in mind that they would either stay for longer or we have them as replacements. Uh, sorry, I'm just keeping cows back while Ro brings the feeder down. So I don't know, like, do you use them? I don't, I don't know, you know, would you sell it? Would you keep it? I haven't got a clue. There are bigger and better people that know the answers to these questions than me. Go on, lady. I'm gonna leave the video here for tonight, you guys. We are just running the cleaning down the shed. These guys have already been strawed out. Everybody's happy. It's probably about 10 to seven. Um, there's gonna be loads going on tomorrow. And on Friday, we are concreting, ready for those channels to get laid in that big hole that you've just seen Dean digging. So I'll keep you up today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Lovely long time and see you next time.
My plans dried out. Nobody needs to know until she puts it on YouTube for everyone to watch. <laughs>